Hey guys, I hope you're doing alright. Today I'm gonna show you how to play Ashes on the Fire. It's Attack on Titan's new season OST. So let's go! I will show you guys how to play this song using only a six string guitar, okay? So in the beginning you have a lot of Floyd Rose dives and they they go they go like this you play a g power chord and then you using the flight rules you go up and then you go down with the tuning like this okay it's pretty simple and that's it you gotta do the flight rose trick four times and by the fourth time you're gonna hold the g chord then you're gonna go G, A, B flat, and C, and then you're gonna go back. C, B flat, A, real fast using palm moods, like this. Okay? You guys will notice that there is a tapping pattern happening at the same time, and it's gonna repeat later in the song. It goes like this, you place your index finger at the B string at the third fret, like this, okay, and you hold it there. So now there's a little dance that's gonna happen between frets 8, 10, 11, and later uh, frets 15, 13, and 11 and 10. So it goes like this, 8, release, 8, 10, 11, release, like this. Then you do 8, release, 8, 11, 10, release, I do a little slide from 11 to 10. So you do that three times. At the fourth time, you're gonna play the first part again. But then you're gonna jump to fret 15 and go 15, release, 13, 11, 10, release. So uh, the whole part's like this. Okay, this next part is really easy. You can use a clean tone, a lot of delay, a lot of reverb, and you do like this. You're gonna go 8th fret on B string, then 7th fret on G string, then 10th fret on B string, then 7th fret on B string, then 11th fret on B string, then 10th fret again, then 15 fret on B string. And that's it. Next session is really easy. The progression goes G, A, and C, but you have some palm modes. It goes like this. You're gonna do it three times, and at the fourth time, you're gonna jump to uh, E flat and C. And then you're gonna do B flat, A, G, power moving fast. So I did. Okay. At the same time that we're playing this progression, we have a melodic line, right? And it goes like this. So frets 8, 10, and 11, it goes like... This is the first part. Then you're gonna do it again, but quite different, like this. So it changes a bit, it goes to the 15th fret and the 13th fret. Then, the third time we go... And the last part goes... Pretty easy, right? And of course, that same tapping pattern that I showed you guys at the beginning is happening now too, okay? 
This next part is a solo section. It happens at the D string and it goes like this. Open string, third, fifth and seventh fret and then release open string again. So then you go eight release, seven release and five release. So the whole section is Okay, you're gonna do it six times and at the seventh time, uh, after you do the, you're gonna do the seven release three times. So it goes like this. Okay, this next session has a lot of things going on. So we'll start with the chord progression and it goes like G, A, B flat and G flat. But first, you're gonna do three downstrokes with the G chord, like this. Then you're gonna play the G, then the A, then the B flat, then the G flat. Then you're gonna do it again. Then you gotta do the G and C pattern that we did uh, at the first chord progression. It goes like. You gotta hold the G chord at the end for four beats, okay? And then you're gonna do the scale and it goes like a G minor scale. So it goes like this. Now at the same time, we have a melodic part that follows that chord progression. It goes like. Okay, and then it changes to... Then it goes like... And at the end, you hold the first note like this for four beats. Now, you're gonna harmonize with the first scale we did. So we go like... Now we have that tricky triplet part that goes like this. At the B string you go 11, 10 and 8. Then at the G string you go 11, 8 and 12 at the D string. Then you go 11 at the G string and 10, 11 at the B string. And then you go 11, 10, 8 at the high E. So all together, it goes like. You're gonna do that pattern four times and then it's gonna change to a pattern at the B string and it goes like 8, 10, 11, 11, 10, 8. So. You're gonna repeat the little part three times. So. At the fourth time, you're gonna do the first part. But then it's gonna change to 15, 13, 11, and 10. Okay? So you're gonna do that whole section twice. It goes like. Okay, you're gonna do this twice and then it's gonna change again to something close to that tapping pattern but you you don't have to play that note you just do and then it's done so then to this final part we have a little drop and then you go with this chord progression okay So what it is, it's the same thing we did at the beginning. It's a G, A, B flat, C, 
and then you go C B flat A with power modes. We do that twice and it's over. At the same time, uh, at this section, we have the same triplet pattern happening. It goes four times and then it's over. So it goes like. And of course, we end with that dive uh, we did with the Floyd Bros at the beginning. Just one. So we go. So that's it, guys. I hope it's not too confusing. I tried to show the tabs on the screen to help you guys. And hope to see you again. Bye.